We all know the traditional checkout process can be annoying. You click here to go to the product page, then click on add to cart. Once you're happy with that, you can look at the details and proceed to the checkout. But what if we could make this process simple to boost your conversion rates? In today's video, I am going to show you how to transform your WooCommerce store into a one-page shopping experience using just Elementor. I'll show you three different templates like this, this and this which will take your customers from product selection to payment all on the same page they just have to add their product to the cart fill in their information like this and click on checkout and that's all you've made an order by reducing the number of screens we speed up the buying process and increase our chances of converting visitors into customers. And that's not all. As a special bonus, I'll include JSON files for the three different templates in the description below. So no matter what you're selling, you can easily add this to your site and improve conversions. First, go to your WordPress dashboard and make sure that your nested elements and Flexbox container settings are active in the settings panel. Then go to your WordPress plugins and install the XPro and Shop Lenter plugins. These will help us create the shop pages on Elementor. Once that's done, let's create this product page with all your products listed in a grid. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Next, we are going to design a product grid that will show the catalog of products we have to offer. So let's add a new container and set the width to 1350 pixels. I'll also do the same to the banner container. Now drag and drop the Woo product grid widget to this container. Let's say I want to display four different products here at a single time. And so I'm going to choose four columns here. You can change this to as many products as you want. Also, I'm going to keep the image resolution as full. From here, you can decide which product attributes you're going to show here. Okay, I'll just change this. And under this query tab, you can also find some additional features that you can go ahead and customize. I'll just set this to four to make sure all the four products are visible here. Okay, next, we'll now create a cart area. So let's add another container and drag and drop the cart widget here. Set the width of this container to 1350 pixels. Let's also add some padding to it. All right, from here, you can decide if you want to have this section as two columns or a single column. You can also make other changes from here to customize its appearance. Now, we are going to create the checkout section that will allow customers to actually buy the products. So take another container and drag and drop the checkout widget in it. From here, customers can fill in their names and their personal details. They can also see the items that they have chosen to buy, apply a code if they have one, and finally make the purchase. I'll just go ahead and change the color of these buttons here, like this. There, that looks perfect. So I'll go and publish this page and see how it looks. I think I'll just change the heading to uppercase and update it again. I think I'll set the cart area to a single column and change its width to 1350 pixels. Next, I'll make changes to the items I'm placing in order for and see if it gets reflected in the cart price. Yes, it does. I'll also change the background and text color of this button. And update the page. Now, you can also make different layouts like this page with the product slider and this with the tab on the left. Don't worry, we don't need to design it from scratch. 
I leave the JSON file that you can import and use on your site. But if you still want to make it manually, you just have to copy these containers and set them in the slider layout. To edit the slider layout, just copy these containers and set them in there. We're going to use the shop planter plugin for this. So first, I'll just delete the product grid and add the WL universal product layout widget here and set the layout as slider. You can also customize the number of products that you want to show in this section. The action button settings here allows you to change the way this button appears beside the product. With image settings, you can decide how your product image is going to appear. From the style tab, I can change the color of the fonts I have used for the product name and its pricing and also create a hover effect. All right, let me go ahead and publish it and see how it looks. Looks good to me. Finally, you can also make this tab layout with the shop lenter plugin by following the steps from before. Also, I'll leave the JSON template in the description below so it's easier for you to import it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.